Hey folks, this is Johnny and I want to go through a new feature in Studio One 6.2 where the MIDI automation follows the MIDI events, even when you're stretching. So let me show you how that works. If you guys could, I'd really appreciate it if you would click the like button and subscribe to my channel and click the bell for notifications when these shows are going to start. Also, if you could become a member, let's get the live streams going. I'm not going to start the live streams until I get a few members so that I have somebody in the live streams. So if you guys could, please uh, become a member, join. There are three super affordable packages for you guys to subscribe and help out the channel financially i'd really appreciate it all right let's go to the classroom and if you look here i have a midi track and i have some modulation automation uh down here in the edit window of course this is the velocity and you have all these other ones i think i've only got velocity and sustain and modulation so we're going to use the modulation um as an example here so if i highlight a bunch of MIDI events, and I move this over, you can see that the automation does not follow. If I, let me do a control Z there, or a command Z, things that I'm on a Mac, if I highlight a couple of events and I stretch them out, you can see that the automation also does not follow. So if you look here very closely, there is a brand new button right here. It says select part automation with notes. If I click on this, watch what happens. I can select all my notes and now all of my MIDI, if all of my MIDI automation follows the notes that I move. If I go back and I just want to stretch out a few, keep an eye on right here. I am going to stretch these out, and boom, you can see that the automation stretches with the notes that I've programmed here. It is, it's nice to be able to know that this is going to follow if you're doing a lot of super heavy MIDI editing. This is essential, and uh, I didn't know I needed this until now. What I would do is if I wanted something else, I would actually put my cursor here and I would repunch and do the automation that way. Now I know that if I need to, I can just simply activate the uh, select part automation with notes and whatever editing I do here, the automation will follow. Let me do this here. There we go. So if you can see here, I have selected these MIDI notes, and you can see that the automation highlights along with it. If I turn this option off and I go like this, there we go. You can see that it does not activate and it will not follow. So it is an important, very important um, option for a lot of people who are doing super deep MIDI editing and things like that. All right, so that's going to do it for this video. If you guys could, go into the description and follow uh, two of my favorite YouTubers here for Studio One content. The first one is Alps Media. The second one is Kevin's Guitar Stories. Go into the description, click on those links, and vi visit those folks, especially Alps Media, because he sells uh, Personas gear, at a really decent price and he can get you things that maybe some other people can't of course depending on if uh personas is offering those but it is a very very cool site check it out alpsmedia.com i want to thank uh, louis for uh not really sponsoring but being connected with the show and stuff so we're helping each other out that way all right very cool that's gonna do it for me and i will see you guys in the next video